Hey folks, I'm back and we are on round 15. Uh, let's have a look at the history. Uh, these guys are starting to try and cut me off. Uh, this is interesting because I think the AI has had some interesting updates. Um, I'm not saying that the AI never used to cut you off because it did. But what the AI is way better now at doing is sneaking off, hiding in, the, in, in its own territory and then popping out at you when you've forgotten about them. They... Uh, the, major, the minor regimes never did that before. I don't even remember the major regimes ever doing that either. So, um, yeah, the my opinion is that Shadow Empire has had some significant upgrades to its AI um, in recent times. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain of it. Right, let's get um, let's go to the VidCon first before I start fighting stuff. We've discovered metal deposits in High Peak. This is excellent news. Uh, we've delivered uh, we've new development of model complete PK. I don't know what that stands for, by the way. My military knowledge is not that good. Uh, what could PK stand for? Panzer Killer? Hmm, something like that. Anyway, this is not a bad model. It's not good. Um, anything like... So, structural design will roll between 70 and 130. So, anything, under, anything over 100 is technically good. And anything under 100 is technically bad. Um... So, yeah. So if you see when if you if you if you get triggered because you're seeing me say ah that's a bad design, um and you know you're saying well you know actually ninety four is pretty high compared to seventy yeah seventy is the lowest you can get. So actually ninety four is not a good it's not good it's you know you're you're in the lower end of of what's of what's acceptable really there I'd say. So, I, I for me, if it's 100 or more, it's good. If it's less than 100, it's bad. Uh, the base design works a little bit differently because the, the number is a little bit different on that. But, um, yeah, anyway. So, this is not a, it's not a great model, but it's it's okay. It, it will do. And um, I'll probably rename that at some point. I'm a bit tired to do it now to come up with something cool. Okay. Uh, decisions. Military Research Council priorities. So, um, what do we want to do? We want combat armor, high speed machine gun. Yeah, all this stuff. This is all good stuff to get. Um, we are currently researching radiation filters, which is useless. I don't want that. So I, first I'm going to change that. Radiation filters I don't need. Why can't we... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why can't we research this? speed machine oh we've not discovered it that's why of course silly ben so let's go to research nothing because i don't want any of those things that, that's just still crap and um i think what we're going to do is i'm going to put more into discovery let's get let's get 66 into discovery that will naturally fit that this will automatically filter over but i think until until i figured it out that seems like a safe bet uh re new research field hospital sounds good to me getting quality of life up is utterly essential in this game and um now model design yeah we're we're currently putting 66 into design model 34 into discovery uh i want it to be the other way around now i want it to be the other way around so let's get like 80 into that uh we'll, uh yeah we don't need anything here i'm actually just going to go no new orders for the time being all right. Um, oh yeah, I want to get. So I really, 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 really want to get combat armor up. Now I think grunts. Let me remind myself. What's my okay? Yeah. So the models that I've got for infantry are grunts too. Ah, oh, carbine and virus suit. I think I've actually have I discovered padded virus suit and automatic rifle. I have. Okay, that would actually be worth getting. Um, so I'm actually gonna let me call up call up the. Uh, council again sorry bear with me i'm a bit tired and i've been awake a long long time so i'm kind of playing this a little bit tired so i'm probably going to be making a few mistakes here and there uh yeah let's just call that guy again oh, okay we've already made that decision don't worry I, it doesn't matter for the now let's let's just find oh no hang on that's model design i'm thinking about military research am i no it is model design i'll leave it till next turn it's not a big deal okay so economic council discovered new tech yeah okay Okay, okay. Really shouldn't play this when I'm tired. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack into here and see if we can get an encirclement. So um, let's attack in with whoever's got the best readiness, I'd say. 
it's the uh, third machine gun infantry brigade. No, it's the 15th machine gun infantry brigade. I said third, didn't I? I actually meant the 11th. Oh, I am tired. Right, so we're going to attack him with those two. Uh, I think we made it. We took a casualty. We took a hundred casualties. So that's not a big problem. So let's push these forward. We're going to push the troops forward that made the attack. No, we're going to move in with. We'll move in with the cat. Oh no, I think I'll keep the cataphracts in in the back. Yeah. No, I'll do this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll move these guys up. We don't want to attack over that. Is that a river? Okay, infantry don't get any combat penalties attacking into into swamps by the looks of it. What do you think? Marsh, grassy marsh. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep those there. What I think I, I expect them to do next turn is they're going to, they're very likely to charge back this way. Now, Um, I could try and go around this way and pinch them off. No, we're not going to get. We won't. We won't cut off their supply like that. I think. I don't want them to get into that city. I'd like to cut them off if I can. The problem is, I don't think I can get in there now. Um, one option that I have. If they attack those cataphracts, they're going to die. I think. So I. I could use them to. I don't want to lose this. This is a really good unit. And this is going to be my key to taking the city. So, I mean, I could try and cut these guys off. And there's a lot of troops there. At least we think so. It says 36,000. Now, I'm not sure if that's how many exactly there are going to be there. Um, yeah, interesting conundrum, this. Because I don't want them to retreat into here. It's going to make taking the city harder. That said, you know... They are. They will probably retreat next turn. I think. I think you'll find that these guys are gonna. They're gonna probably retreat. Let's see what happens here. They might try. They, I mean, if they've got the movement points, there is a chance they're gonna try and cut me off here. And I didn't think that the AI can usually do that, but sometimes they can. In all honesty, maybe I move that back. Move one of these units back. I think that's safer. I think what's going to happen here then. Actually, if we move these here. Now you could move down here. But then we should still have a supply line here. Providing uh, they might attack in like that. Yeah, the, by the way, the AI ha seems to be a lot better now. Um, I think it seems a lot better. And the uh, I was playing a single player game earlier today. In the morning. And I just I found out that the AI is it's doing stuff that I've not seen it do before. At least it certainly feels much more competent than it was before. Okay, we've got something here, look. Got something there. I think. Oh, okay, those guys are not in supply. I need to get a dirt road over here, look. Oof. Kind of expensive. There we go. So these guys should now be in supply. Uh, it's dead important that I get these... The, the, I, I, I cut this guy off from, from the north, from this city. I think what might be an idea would be to... There's no zone up here. It doesn't look like it's well defended either. Um, I, I probably would like to get something into this territory here. Uh, this looks like it's aliens of some kind, or some kind of other mutants or spiders or whatever it is that the uh, the the life is, the sentient life or the non-sentient life is. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it would be nice to be able to get into this, and I want, I really want that because if I can get here and then and then fortify this, Kale is going to be in big trouble. He's going to have to go round me, or he's going to have to go through me. Um, now that is fighting talk. Like if he if I if he sees me doing that, he will probably be like, okay, like I've got to do something here, otherwise I'm gonna lose the game. 
Um, which is good because it's going to create some interesting situations, I'd say. Okay, I don't want this to go on too long, this this episode. So I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to build some ammunition. Uh, next turn we should have some more recycling going up. So we've got plenty of, we've got loads of metal now. Um, I think now, next turn, might be the time to get up uh, Industry 1 in High Peak. Once Industry 1, yeah, I think that will be an idea. That's going to take 1500 metal. Yeah, I might be able to, I'm not going to be able to do it in one, In you know, it, I might put it on 50%, so it takes six turns, something like that. Um, unless I bought metal, but the problem is, I have actually got money. Yeah, we've got 159 credits in negative cash flow. I desperately, desperately, desperately need to get my uh, income tax up. And I can't do it. Why? Because I don't have the Foreign Affairs Council. Yeah, it needs 42 political points. We'll have to wait till next turn for that. So um, I'd like to get the Foreign Affairs Council up. We need to get some more bureauc bureaucracy up to bureaucratic points because we're going to be spreading our political points a little bit too thin. Now, we are getting a decent amount of bureau bureaucratic points. Um, how many councils have I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, so the Internal Affairs Council will be the sixth. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to have to get bureaucracy up. I found that Shadow Empire is much, much, much less of a painful game if you work hard on the industry and you don't push out too far too soon. Um, I still feel like I'm wasting these guys, but I, I, I mean, look, K uh, I can't tell Kale to leave stuff there and then leave not leave it there myself. That's that's just kind of unfair. Uh, we do have metal here. This is nice, very, very nice. Um, it will cost what to get up a mine 125 recent um I'm, I'm i'm tempted to put this up you know what else are we building this turn construction overview nothing uh i i think we should start that i think the mine would be a really really good bet now this is going to give us administrative strain by quite a bit um which means that we might want to make that an a zone do I want to do that? I don't know. I'll see what the administrative strain is before, I think. Because I'm a bit reluctant to get too much administrative strain. I think we're probably going to be okay at this point. However, that is quite a long way away. I think the, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that will be good. I mean, once we've got, I mean, I think that gives you, what is it, 250 metal a turn? 250 metal a turn. So, yeah, getting 250 metal a turn is going to be a lot. Um, and... Yeah, it's well worth paying for. Yeah, we can't get any formations up here. I think the problem is... Industrial points. Independent MG Battalion should be... We've got 15 points. Two political points, 10 metal and 500 troops. Why can't we get that up there? I am confused. Um, what about putting it in Clyde? No. Ammo is the problem. Is it? Why can't we do this? Logistics zero. Why logistics zero? Ah, we've got a logistical uh, block here. That is why. Uh, we need to get... Oh, we've got enough, not got enough troops. Uh, we've not got enough people working in here. That's why. Yeah, 81%. There we go. That's better. Now, it's funny. It's still pulling. It's still pulling stuff up that way. Interesting stuff. I'll leave it for the time being. I can't be bothered to mess with this. I mean, I could just go like that. Am I going to get more political? So uh, more points up. Two forty-one. Two, two, uh, 214, sorry, 214. I think it's the same. No, 241, 214. Okay. So let's just, let's cut off the pull points. Yeah, two. So let's just, we just get rid of this road, I think, eventually. It's in, uh, but yeah, I, I still need to, I need to work on my logistics kung fu because uh, I, I think I'm a little bit out of practice with it, I'm afraid. We're getting danger here. 
presence of enemy near a city assets. What's going on here then? Right. Let's get up. Hey, can we do it here? No, it's got to be close to the uh, formation of the SHQ. Let's get a machine gun troop up here. Um, and then next turn, I'm going to move that out. It looks like we're, looks like someone's pushing in on this, on this oil well they've created. I wish they'd not done that, to be honest. What are we getting from that oil well? 125 fuel and 500 private oil. Right, so they're going to be, they're going to be basically eating up all this fuel. I really want to nationalise that as soon as possible, because I get the impression fuel might be, um, you know, cut somewhat limited on this map. It's hard to get out look as well, level 8, but it's there's a large amount of it. We might find that... Uh, yeah, look, it doesn't look like there's anyone there. I don't know why it's say, talking about danger now. I wouldn't, it might be something to do with this. But there doesn't seem to be any danger near our assets. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to ramble on, guys. I'll leave that for the time being. Uh, next turn, we're going to... Yeah, we'll get the that organisation up. There was something else I needed to do as well that I need to write down. All right, folks, I uh, will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.